our last and final guest, we have William Zimmerman, who's going to talk to us about sports, also known as my husband. So, William, <laughs> tell everyone a little bit about yourself. Yeah, my name's Bill Zimmerman. I'm a local guy, grew up in the Philadelphia suburbs in Plymouth Meeting, and I've loved sports all my life. I've watched them since I was younger with my with my parents. They were also diehard Philadelphia sports fans. Played sports in grade school, high school. Uh, I wasn't good enough to play in college, although you'd probably be surprised just looking at me. <laughs> and uh, I, <laughs> I actually worked for Temple's football team under Al Golden and Matt Rule. Al Golden currently coaches for the Detroit Lions, the tight ends coach, and Matt Rule is currently the head coach of Baylor. And so I learned a ton from them, and I worked for their football program and operations throughout my tenure at Temple when Al Golden was the head coach and Matt Rule was an assistant coach at Temple. And so I learned a lot about athletics. I also volunteered for the athletic department at Temple and learned a lot there as well. I know a lot of people in the area, a lot of athletic directors, a lot of coaches. I went to grad school at LaSalle and actually was a graduate assistant there. And I worked in LaSalle's athletic department in operations and fundraising. So that again taught me a lot about uh, athletics and even today, I volunteer and coach Narberth basketball and AAU uh, basketball. So, as you can tell, I love sports and uh, it's, it's a big part of my life. Don't forget, you got to plug your new business. Oh, yeah, right. And I am starting a new virtual sports lessons business for lacrosse called Scrimmage. And it should be ready to go within the next uh, four to six months. In addition to Scrimmage, I'm also launching company called Venue Bear, which is where you can actually rent athletic facilities. You can go online, type in whether you whether if you have a camp, clinic, practice or a league, etc. You can type that into venuebear.com, hit search, and then it will populate a list of venues in your area, athletic venues, whether that's a gym, a field, a cross field, or basketball court, or whatever. And you can actually see the price per hour, and you can actually end up renting the facility right there online. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you. Into the questions. Um, William, the first one for you. What is your favorite sports related activity to do in the summer? Something you've done before, or something that you're excited to try? Yeah. So I would say body surfing, <laughs> especially uh, obviously down the shore in, in Ocean City. And I used to go there when I was younger. So basically, it's just an excuse to sit and talk about the shore because I love it so much. So, big fan of, for example, what's better than going on the boardwalk and getting Core Brothers or Boardwalk Fries or going on For those on, going that don't rides. know what body surfing is, why don't you give them a little description? Or boogie boarding, either one. Okay. Yeah. Talk to them about that, both of those. That counts, right? Yeah. So, yeah, so body surfing is simply. Just waiting for the uh, the waves to get really good, and by really good I mean like three feet because I'm scared of uh, anything over that. Mm -hmm. And uh, basically just riding them in, preferably with friends. <laughs> and, Great. And boogie boarding obviously is just with the same thing, just with a with the board. Perfect summer activity, especially when it's nice and humid like it is today. So William, jumping to the next question, what do you think the best thing Philly has to offer relating to sports? <laughs> I would say Eagles training camp. Definitely one of the better things to do. You can get close to the players, you can get close to the coaches, you can get close to executives, you can get close to the media, and it's open to the public. It's right now, it's in it's in August, and you can really, and afterwards you can interact with the players. It's really cool. We, we went last year. We did. And you had a great time, right? Yeah, it was awesome. It's, it's definitely a great way to feel like you're involved with Philly sports, and you know, we, I think last year um, some of the special teams were kind of practicing on the side and they were playing catch with some of the fans that were watching. So it is really a yeah. great thing that the Eagles do. And you can get, if you're into autographs, which I'm, I'm not, I think it's crazy to have someone's signature. But anyway, people value that. And 
you can get autographs, you can get pictures, videos. It's pretty cool. So it's, it's definitely a unique event where you can get close to professional athletes and maybe even like maybe even your hero if you're a little kid. And right, exactly. That's really cool. So yeah, I would say I would say the Eagles training camp would be would probably be top of my list. So speaking of unique, what's unique about Philly sports? I would say the location of the venues, one, because they're all the major sports franchises have their venues right next to each other, which is so convenient. Plus, you have Xfinity Live, which is a really nice addition to kind of have a before and after game. And it makes it easy to get to, it's easy to get to as well. Plus, it's outside the city. Yeah. So it kind of makes its own little. Uh, community yeah. out there. Yeah, its own community. And I would also say the fans, because they're passionate about their, their teams and they expect everyone to have maximum effort and they love their fans, or they love, sorry, the fans love, but love their players. And so they love to see competitive teams because most people around here grow up or grew up uh, playing sports and watching sports either with their families or their friends or they themselves would watch it so it was it's really great to, to kind of experience the passion of the fans at, a, at home games for Eagles, Flyers, Sixers, uh, etc. The college teams I would say thirdly because there's a huge following for college teams in this area so the Big Five is legendary and a lot of people usually just pay attention to the professional teams in their area whereas in Philadelphia it's professional and College team, so I think uh, I think it's I think it's great, and it's a, and it's definitely a, a unique part of, of the Philadelphia sports culture. Very great. So for the last question, what is your favorite thing to do for date night? Obviously relating to sports. Yeah, I, I think a unique date night uh, would be Ray Dittinger has actually wrote and has produced a play at Fringe Arts in Philadelphia, which will be playing in all of the month of August, and it's basically it's called Tommy and Me. And, it, and it's basically about him growing up with Tommy McDonald, who actually is a Hall of Fame, is a Hall of Famer. Uh, not only is he in the Philadelphia Eagles Hall of Fame, but he's also in the NFL Hall of Fame. Oh, that's awesome. And he played running back for the Eagles. He was actually on the team when the Philadelphia Eagles won their championship in 1960, the pre-Super Bowl era, and they beat Vince Lombardi's oh, wow. Green Bay Packers. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. cool, right? Yeah. And so... Tommy McDonald was on that team, and Ray Dittinger talks about growing up with him and how he helped him make it to the NFL. That sounds awesome. So, yeah, so tickets are on sale. It's at Fringe Arts Theater in, I believe it's in Old City, and uh, it, 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 it should be an awesome show, and I think it'll be a unique date night. So you're planning it for us, obviously? <laughs> if you're lucky. <laughs> okay, so we're going to jump to the fun questions. We have three just short questions for you to answer, and then we're going to do a little game at the end. I know how much you love games. Oh, I, I forgot to add also, sorry, okay. that Ray Dittinger is, is also in the Hall of Fame. He's in the Hall of Fame for, for sports journalists. Oh. And he's a famous sports writer in Philadelphia and also actually nationally. So. Cool. Okay, so first question. Thoughts on the MLS versus the rest of the world? Just so you know, the last questions don't have to do specifically with Philadelphia. So I'll repeat it again. Thoughts on the MLS versus soccer in the rest of the world? Yeah, so the MLS is still behind the rest of the world. I don't know if that's up for debate, unless you think otherwise. All time. Uh, wow, best sports memory of all time. Do I have to be no, it anything could be, like Little League professional? It like could just be a game you went to, it could be... Something I was involved in, or, do, or does it doesn't matter. Could be anything? It could be anything. Uh, well, then it has to be the, the 2008 World Series by the Phillies. So I thought you were I was Yeah, I, I was at a Sixers game with my friend... Matt Stefanski, and we were watching the Sixers that night, and we're in the Lexus Club, no big deal, <laughs> sorry, and uh, we were watching, the, obviously, the Sixers game, and afterwards, the Phillies, that was the, the night the uh, the Phillies clinched the World Series, and we just literally just walked out of the out of the Sixers, I think it was the Wells Fargo Center, um, and just watched all kind of mayhem break loose after the Phillies won the World Series. It's kind of cool to be there that night on the street, see people climb up on, I guess it's kind of crazy, but climb up on like 
signs and yeah. street signs and and uh, there were a ton of uh, horseback police and stuff was I guess people were setting stuff on fire I don't know if that was intelligent but that happened yeah, it, it was, was just it was just crazy great but, time but for it was Billy. really exciting to be there then I actually went to the parade mm -hmm. um, I was may or may not have been sick that day at work so I yeah. but I toughed it out and uh, Great memory. I think for anyone that was in Philly at that time, unfortunately I was in New York, so I was celebrating oh boy. in a bar in New York, but it was all Philly fans, so that was great. I did go to the game two before they won, so at least I have that. Um, was that the game where it was raining? Though? Yes. Did my get, phone got destroyed, but that's okay. And did that get called off? No. Or was that the they, they finished No, they game? finished that game. Okay, finished that yeah. game. Okay, yeah. Um, okay, so jumping to the next question, obviously he loves to talk about his sports. Um, who would be your favorite player of all time? It could be any sport. Oh man, is this is this uh, like right off the top of my head or just or? Yeah, just you know, who comes to mind first as your favorite player? Probably Barry Sanders. Okay, didn't think you were gonna say that. 